Hi, Gary here. Um, today's video is going to be on hormones and how they can help you lose weight. Um, a lot of people skip by them. Um, a lot of people actually think when you mention hormones that people think it's the, the whole reason why you shout at your other half every now and then for no reason at all. That's not really, well, it could be possibly, but that's obviously not what we're sort of wanting to go into today. Your hormones, you've got like 10, 11, um, insulin, dopamine, serotonin, GABA, cortisol, quite a few of them in your body and they basically dictate whether you feel hot, cold, happy, sad, hungry, full, so on and so forth. Um, the three main ones that you need to focus on in regards to weight loss are insulin, You'll all know about insulin, obviously you would have heard obviously a lot about it with diabetes. Um, estrogen and cortisol. Now, like you say, these are the three main ones that you need to focus on getting into a balance. Um, with weight loss, you can lose weight whilst not having them in balance per se, but it's like ice skating up a hill. You'll get there eventually, but it's going to take you a lot of hard work and probably a bit much time spent when you could have easily have probably got the same results in a shorter period of time if you've just sort of got your, your hormones into balance. And we do that by detoxing. Now, detoxing helps you flush all the, the, the toxins out of your body. Um, pretty much if you've been eating a diet where you've had a lot of carbs, a lot of high sugar, complex carbs anyway, a lot of sugar, processed foods, you know, all the crap of the day, McDonald's, burgers, things of that sort, then there's a high chance that they're going to be sitting sort of in your gut, sort of depositing toxins throughout your, your digestive tract and likelihood is that it'll be affecting you losing weight. So if you flush out your system, um, one of the best things for that is bottled water. Um, I'm not going to go into why bottled water as opposed to tap water. That Um, hopefully I'll not get cut off again. Um, uh, I think I was on talking about tap water um, when it went, um, and that was what like I was saying in the video just before. I'm not going to go into too much detail about why bottled water is better than tap water, because um, we're more focusing on uh, detoxing um, and obviously getting your hormones into balance. Um, but like you say, with water, um, eating clean, will help obviously get rid of the, the nasty toxins within your body um, and we detox and then follow a clean eating plan in, in regards to getting your hormones in balance. It takes time obviously you have to have sort of undone what you've done previously but if you get them into balance by eating clean um, and detoxing then in the long run your weight loss journey will be a lot easier um like you say if you're if you're trying to you know you, you would have heard the old saying you can't out exercise a bad diet well that's right enough you know if you can think i'll go to whatever sessions classes and i'll absolutely hammer myself and then i'll go home and i'll eat mcdonald's that you're going to lose weight then chances are you might need to wake up a little bit um because you know it's it's not only that, it's, it's, it's obviously it's detrimental to your health and without your health all the rest of it doesn't really matter so yeah if you want to lose weight quicker then I would say get your hormones into balance there's means to find out how your hormones actually are um, I know myself I had three um, that were an issue uh, growth hormone which happens as you get older your, your growth hormone stops being produced as much um, so I'm approaching my 34th birthday in January so obviously it's not producing quite as much. Um, GABA I think and melatonin. Um, melatonin comes from sleeping in complete darkness which for me is a bit difficult because my room's sort of like a, an airport, there's flashing lights on all over the place. Um, but yeah, just have a look, have a look online, maybe read um, a book on hormones and see how you get on and yeah check that out and obviously you can find out how your body is and then you can obviously help yourself by 
getting your hormones into balance and that will obviously help you with your progression into losing the weight that you're looking to lose. Alright, thanks again, I'll see you next time.